Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and this video is going to be about your monthly reading Taurus, the month of November. Uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and as well Taurus Rising. And uh, if you are interested into having a personal reading with me, you can always go to my website. The link of it you're going to find in the description down below. And if you do want to beat the YouTube algorithm and not allowing it to decide what do you want to watch for you, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell. So with that said, let me just uh, finish here the shuffle. I like to give a good riffle to the cards before I start. And uh, of course, cutting them and uh, see what you have. So the first card for your month, that is going to be the strength. Followed by the second card for your month, uh, which is going to be uh, the Six of Wands. Moving on next, uh, we do have the Five of Wands. And the final card for your month, guys, uh, that's going to be the World. Uh, so for what it seems, uh, you are going to chase some kind of a results. We'll see how this is going to turn out when I do start drawing uh, the uh, catalysts. Things can change a little bit. But overall, by the look of those four cards, uh, it seems that you are going to have some surprising turnarounds throughout the month. And um, it, will, it will revolve all around a milestones and results that you are going to accomplish in the first portion of uh, of the month of november itself and starting up here with uh, the strength card which is the first card for you uh it's cut yeah oh my god it's catalyzed by the wheel of fortune um that's going to be a very explosive start for your month uh taurus basically what happens there guys it is that suddenly out of nowhere one morning you wake up and you whether through a phone call or just you know entering into your work and you hear about it or you know i don't know uh, it could be also within your um, personal life someone tells you or someone shows you or whatever what i am trying to say here it is that out of nowhere seemingly randomly I, it, just to you it's given the um, the circumstances are given to you to make a huge difference to to exert a once in a lifetime change in your life and um, you're gonna face this enterprise with a huge enthusiasm right it's just the I can't even begin to tell you how eager and how enthusiastic you are going to be about the enterprise itself now for every single one of you that's going to be a different enterprise for some of you it could be that now you do have the chance to get back to your ex if you do want to do that again that's something very positive this isn't something neutral or or, or something that you have to struggle against um, if that's <clears throat> You know, that could be as well a chance for you to finally be promoted or to start the job you always wanted. And so it's just to make that huge difference that comes once in a lifetime. That is what you're going to have here. Now, the enterprise itself is going to be challenging. What I mean is that it's not going to be easy, but it's not going to be difficult either. It's that kind of a challenge when you go to the gym right and you kind of like make a really really productive and and difficult and heavy workout that it is challenging to do it and at the end of the workout itself it's kind of like all of your muscles are in pain and uh, and, and fatigue but you feel really really good that kind of a feeling you're gonna have at the start of the month when that enterprise shows up uh shows up for you and again it will be very random or it will feel very randomly like out of nowhere but you need to know that that is uh i don't want to say like a like a gift uh it's it's more like unconsciously you positioned yourself in a such a way to have the opening to have the opportunity to have the clearance to do it to to grab on this 
um, on this enterprise and move forward. Uh, one thing I want to warn you here is that there are going to be those that will try to discourage you with talks, that is, not with actions, especially if you feel uh, obliged, not exactly obliged, but like um, entitled to explain yourself. No, no different than when kids are feeling entitled to explain what they are going to do when they go outside to their parents and ask for their permission right so you may feel that you are entitled to do that with your significant one or or with a friends you know or with colleagues as well you don't you totally are not entitled to do anything or rather like to convince people that what you are after is righteous what you are after or what you are about to be after at the start of the month of november is going to be the best thing for you at least according to these cards and you should care less what people think of it. You should care less who approves it and who doesn't approve it. With the strength card, in, uh, if should that enterprise be in your um, personal life, where, for example, that could be the clearance to finally be with the person you always wanted to be, or uh, get back with the next that you uh, um, regret breaking up with, or uh, finally being proposed for an engagement and etc etc then you can expect a lot of passion out there there is going to be a lot of uh, physical interaction aka sex a lot of passion and I, I just can't begin even to tell you how um, intense that that thing is going to be and when I say intense I don't mean it in a bad way I mean it in the most positive way possible with those couple of cards in term of career um, those two cards shows up a either a huge project coming your way or huge position coming your way either way uh, it will be challenging it will require from you to give your best and the best you are going to give and uh, should you do so uh, prevailing it's it's not even a question there you will prevail it's just it will be a bit of a the word is not slog like it will be demanding but you will not mind it for what it seems from those couple of cards uh, the next one that we do have it's a continuation of uh, the first two cards so we do have the six of uh, the six of wands here and the catalyst is the devil so the six of wands shows that whatever the enterprise for you is at the start of the month guys you reach a milestone into it or in other words you do a good job about it regardless if it is about a, a personal relationship continuation into your current relationship or growth in your current relationship job etc etc six of wands here as a prime card shows that you will uh, reach accomplishments achievements that you are to be rewarded for them uh, at the middle of the month or towards the middle of the month towards the middle of the month of November and also you are to be recognized for the best possible choice that could have been made at the start of the month so the person that you may end up with at the start of the month is going to convince her or himself towards the middle of the month that they couldn't have anybody better right or the job that you are going to get your management is going to be convinced now that they thinks that they have hired you instead of someone else right that have been competing for the position itself you were the right choice and that is going to bring you rewards right that's going to bring you like i said recognition rewards and also um what is the word here uh, also is going to bring you like a promise for even further growth and having the devil uh, as a catalyst to the six of wands it's simultaneously a, a positive and not that positive hard card now on one hand looking at positively having the devil there it kind of means that although you will end up in a position of strength you will end up on a position of power even 
you are not going to find yourself being intoxicated by it. You are not going to forget yourself, right? And you will keep up and maintaining the positive performance and the positive attitude toward the uh, toward the situation itself. So you're not going to take those resource those results. I'm sorry for granted. And yeah, the resources that are going to be given to you for granted as well. And that will uh, reach or rather like meet a lot of uh, appreciation from your um, current partner or from your future partner, from your, your, your work, your job, etc., from the colleagues, etc., etc. Now, on the other hand, that kind of puts a little bit of a dependency, meaning that you're not going to be the only one who is going to dictate the, the, the rules of uh, either the relationship or either the project or the enterprise, the endeavor, and so on and so forth. In other words, there will be other people that you need to align yourself with. There are going to be other people that you have to compromise with and so on and so forth. But also now that I think of with these couple of cards, uh, another positive aspect of them it is that should you need any help whatsoever, okay? Uh, then that help is going to be granted to you. Even if people that can help you don't want to help you, there are going to be those who are going to make them help you. That is especially prominent when it comes to your business and when it comes to your uh, to your job, to uh, to your career. And the best um, the best thing that can happen from those couple of cards is that you are not going to misuse or therefore waste all the, re all the results, all the resources and all the achievements and victories that you are going to accomplish into the first um, couple of weeks going forward into the month of uh, November. And afterwards, the uh, Five of Wands manifests for you guys, uh, which is going to be catalyzed with the, uh, with the Ace of Wands. And the good things are keep on rolling for you because those two cards are very similar to the first, but with a less magnitude. What I mean is that while at the start of the month you had a one opportunity that is changing your life, it is is changing your life in a way that you can't do it anymore. You know, that is once in a lifetime chance that you do it. Here, these are a multiple surprising events. That is after the middle of the month, multiple surprising events, which are coming left, right and center, all of them gaining full for what those cards are showing. And they are with less magnitude. So if at the start of the month you had your chance to be with the person you always wanted, that is just for example, after the middle of the month, once you do secured that person, you have now a lot of surprising gaps, say, in your um, in your schedule that you can use to be with that person and all of them are going to be gaining full meaning that that is even going to further consolidate your relationship. That is just an example should a new relationship, it is the way how those cards manifest for you. But in a general term, again, <clears throat> There are going to be those turnarounds in your plans or into the situations around you that are opening up a space uh, and new endeavors to enter into them. Now, should that be about your career, like new tasks here and there are starting to appear, uh, it's more prominent there that, that there are going to be a tasks you know little about, right? These are tasks that are not usually something you deal with. But throughout the month or toward the end of the month, you are to see that it's easy for you to deal with those tasks. It's something that you had it naturally within you. And therefore, you can even qualify for a larger work, bigger work. Uh, you can qualify for something different for something more well paid and so on and so forth. Um, another thing from those couple of cards, uh, Taurus, it is that they are one of the best cards you can have if you do want to make a turnaround. Okay, if you do want to make a reversal in a certain situation, situations that it, situation that it is failing, let's say, uh, after the middle of the month, you're going to have your chance to get the upper hand there to prevent the failure and even 
you know, end up being uh, past the middle, or like more toward the successful side of uh, side of the situation. Now, sometimes people interpret the five of wands as an argument, you know, as a, a clashes. That can happen, although it's uh, that's not what that card is all about. The card is all about, you know, the uh, uh, the different ideas, or rather, like a, the different atmospheres that are coming around you, and, and you just have to do your best to make the best out of them. But should there be any uh, any clashes, any arguments with people, they they are going to be about uh, how something should be done rather than should you do it or not. And uh, if that's the case, uh, the best thing is to pick up only the positive aspects of all the opinions and then build up your own opinion um, Taking advantage, taking advantage of anybody's strategy here. Uh, after the middle of uh, November, it's also very possible for you, Taurus, to come up with a talent or something you're good at that you had no idea you are good at up until that point because you never needed to exert it anywhere. But now as these openings are showing up, you will need to kind of like rely on it more and more that could be for example you may realize that you are a good speaker you may realize that you are good with numbers you may realize that you uh, uh, are painting well for example or even reading tarot cards well uh, that's some kind of a talent or a skill that you never needed but you have it naturally with you and now you are going to uh, find the kind of like it is within you to do it and uh, you are ending up here the month with uh, the world card which is going to be catalyzed with the page of swords uh, those two now these uh, these two are a passive enemies and what happens here is that uh, it's quite difficult to explain it so what happens is that the question isn't that you are going to wrap things around. You know, you had your once in a lifetime chance to make a huge difference in your life and you are about to make the difference. And by the end of the month, that all is going to be pretty much settled. And here the problem that lies at the end of the month for you, Taurus, it's what to do next. And this is where we do have those conflicting cards, the world with uh, the page of swords. You will have, either you will have many colliding ideas, you know, one that it is killing the other or one that it is negating the other, so to speak, or that could be if you are partners with someone, your partner is totally going to disagree with you. They're not going to even want to hear what you have to say for your new venture that it is coming up in your mind. Now, if it is the former where you are uh, apprehensive about what you should do next, what kind of a project to undertake next, you know, what kind of a qualification to sign up next, or what, or what should you do about your well-developing relationship next, then it will be um, those cards are advising you guys to bet on the more secured, certain, and slow one rather than to risk it here more complicated becomes uh, if that's about someone that it is uh, against you in a sense of opinion that it is someone opposing you but you cannot simply you know cut that person off because that's how these cards stands you can't cut that person off because they are part of of what you are of what you established through that uh, chance to 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 make a difference once in a lifetime chance to make a difference so in that case, it will be best to ignore because uh, according to these cards and once you know the, 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 the heat settles down, then you can talk about it because with these heat up situation as those cards stand, uh, neither they're going to be able to convince you in their righteousness, neither you will be able to convince them in your righteousness. And so as 
things are you know settled and they do have a good foundation it is better not to talk about the future until you see that this person goes off because otherwise if you keep up going for those come up for those arguments and for those fights they are going to grow into scandals okay and this is going to threaten if not destroy um what you have established or what you have fought and win or, or rather like won throughout the month of november and you can completely annihilate your chance or rather like what you built up from the chance because you are going to get the chance at the start of the month you're going to build you're going to get results from it you know you're going to establish and at the end one argument one scandal all gone you don't need that so whenever you see opposition or feel opposition from the other side that it is involved in your grand scheme of things or rather like into that grand enterprise just ignore it uh, say tell them that you're going to talk about it on a later stage now it's that's not the most important thing and in a couple of weeks from there then you can rise uh, raise uh, the matter and so with that said guys uh, that was your monthly tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other around until then bye